street. And just happened to be my husband, but I gotta tell you something. He was a man of God long before he was my husband. <laughs> and served the Lord with all of his heart and all of his soul. He loves the saints and truly, in the true order of an apostle, wants not to push, wants not to shove, but wants to love, love you into the arms of Jesus. We know that the work of the church has to be done. But when you have the honor of being in a house with a man that loves God this much and working day and night, it humbles you. I'm not short of years. I've long been saved, but not long enough not to tell you that I've been in the world strongly. I know a man of God when I see one. And I'm so honored to introduce him. So shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me void, but it shall accomplish that which I please. And it shall prosper in the thing whereto I sent it. Receive the word of God and don't leave this place the way you came in. Never, ever leave the house of God the way you came in. Apostle David Miles, stand please if you would and welcome him to the day. Come on, put your hands together with Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. While you're standing, we'll go to the Lord in prayer. I'm going really to appreciate what God's been doing in this service tonight. Hallelujah. The Bible says that God is of no respect of persons. And it's not about me. I came to win the thing outside of Jesus. And you and I are equal in Jesus, in the body of Christ. And there's nothing that any man out there, only woman out there can do that you can't do if you believe God and come in agreement with what God has speak about your life. So I want us to look to the Lord tonight. Hallelujah. Praise God. I thank God for my wife and you know, I didn't pay her for that introduction. I don't even know that. <laughs> but you know, I love this woman. Hallelujah. Because God sent her to me and she's mine. And I'm not going to let anybody else take her or have her. Not even Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. <laughs> How many people think it's okay to laugh in church sometimes? It's okay. Amen. Hallelujah. I just, you know, kind of hang loose a little bit and just, you know, be open to what God is going to speak to us today. I'm not going to be very long before you, but I want to pray before I just share with you what God has spoken to me to share with you. Amen. Praise God. Let's talk to the Lord. Father, in the name of Jesus, God, we just thank you for the opportunity to be here tonight. Lord, we ask you to hide us behind the cross. Cover us with the blood of Jesus Christ and sanctify us, Lord, by your word. Your word is truth. Lord, right now, we take authority over every spirit that is contrary to the Holy Ghost. Every Spirit, God, that is not of you, we bind and cast it out, and we invite you, Jesus, your anointing, your presence, your love, your power, you and your revelation to be in this service, Lord. We ask you, God, for spiritual eyes to hear what you're saying to the church. We ask you, God, for spiritual eyes to see what you show into the church. Me never needed this service tonight, Lord. Any sickness, any disease, any pain, any infirmity. Any curse, Lord, anything that is not of you, that I've come upon your people, will destroy because of the anointing. And we'll give you all the praise and all the glory in Jesus' name. Let the church say amen. amen. Put your hands to the Lord as you sit down. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Praise God. I want to thank God, amen, for allowing us to be here with Reverend Freeman tonight. You know, the first time I came to this church, we came to support Dr. Pat Holliday and she was the guest speaker there for Reverend Freeman and uh, I didn't know that you know the next time I come back here yeah, I'd be probably in the pulpit but I thank God for uh, Reverend Freeman for the opportunity and you know her ministry and what she's doing for the kingdom of God and also you know the sword and shield and these kids they got me excited I was 
behind the camera watching them dance. And I said, Lord, there's some real talent, some real gifts in this children. And thank God that they in the church, they could have been out there. Hallelujah. Doing the hip hop thing or something else for the world. But they in the church dancing and worshiping for Jesus Christ. Amen. I want to give honor to Dr. Pat Holliday, who, praise God, introduces to Dr. Freeman to allow us to be here and uh, sworn in the spirit of fire. <laughs> Amen. The spirit of fire uh, gospel group that's been, we've been worshiping and fellowshiping with them. A miracle outreach ministry with God have allowed us to be for the past few months. And we just thank God for every minister that's here today. We don't know you by name, but we invited other ministers to come and support this ministry. Just to encourage, you know, Reverend Freeman, what she's doing for God and, and encourage the saints. Not that we are greater or better than anybody else, but I believe, you know, God, that the church 